After understanding software engineering, this time we need to discuss about process framework. Process framework is the basis for all other actions or tasks in the software development process. Normally, we identify generic activities that are applicable to all software projects regardless of their sizes or complexity. A generic process framework for software engineering encompasses five activities. Communication, planning, modeling, construction, and lastly, deployment. Communication activity. Before any technical work can commence, it is critically important to communicate and collaborate with the customer slash stakeholders slash clients. The intent is to understand stakeholders' objectives for the project and to gather in requirements that will help define the software features and functions. As a developer, once the PM or project manager presented the problem, we assume directly we know the solution. Then you will, um, you will say, yeah, I understand that one. Let's get it on and let's start creating the system. Unfortunately, guys, to be honest, understanding isn't always that easy. It is worth spending a little time answering a few simple questions. First, who has a stake in the solution of the problem? So actually, we're talking about the stakeholders. Second question, who are the unknowns? If we're talking about the unknowns, we're talking about the data, the functions, and features required to properly solve the problem. Third question, can the problem be compartmentalized? Yes, it is possible to represent smaller problems that may be easier to understand. Last question, can the problem be represented graphically? Yes, it is possible that the analyst will create a model so that it will be more understandable to the team. Planning or plan the solution activity. Any complicated journey can be simplified if a map exists. A software project is a complicated journey and the planning activity creates a map that helps guide the team as it makes the journey. The map that we're talking about that is the software project plan. Software project plan defines the software engineering work by describing the technical tasks to be conducted, the risks that are likely, the resources that will be required, the work products to be produced, and the working schedule of the team. Modeling. Whether you are a landscaper, a bridge builder, an aeronautic engineer, a carpenter, a civil engineer, or even an architect, you work with models every day. You create a sketch or blueprint of the thing so that you'll understand the big picture, what it will look like, how the essential parts fit together, and many other characteristics. If required, you refine the sketch into greater and the greater detail to better understand the problem and how you're going to solve it. A software engineer does the same thing by creating models to better understand software requirements and the design that will achieve those requirements. Basically, in software engineering one, which is in this first semester, we will focus more on this stage. Construction. What you design must be built. Software engineers implement the design by writing a code. After all the code developed by different teams is integrated, test engineers or software testers check if the software meets the required specifications so that the developers can still debug the code. Lastly, we have deployment. The software delivered to the customer who evaluates the delivered product and provides feedback 
based on the evaluation. This is the time that the release engineer then deploys the software on a server.